Hello, today I made a Ryan Villa Poto setup, or at least tried. Enjoy. Alright guys, so for this episode, I tried to make Ryan Villa Poto, and you might as well just roast me right now because I think it turned out terribly. So I think this might actually be the final episode that I do as a different rider. I think for the final three rounds, I am going to hop in, use my custom rider, try out some different bikes, maybe the Husky, maybe the YZ, maybe hop on that Yamaha man. Who knows what we'll get up to, but I think the RV setup, maybe I will throw up the picture that I based it off of. The gear, I couldn't find any gear similar to what RV used to run, but the bike, it's, it's not perfect. It got his blue accents in there. The one thing I am really bummed about is the fact that I know you guys are gonna roast me for it too is look at his name I literally cannot get his name to go any lower It won't let me put it any lower just to actually prove it to you guys you come in here you choose his name I know it's hard to see because it's white on white, but yeah, I I can't move it any lower so uh yeah roast me in the comments right now the setup is not on point for this episode but we are hopping in to denver we are going to do the 20 second head start challenge still trying to check that one off the list and maybe here as rv i will get it done let's see what happens roll the intro As Ralph Shaheen says, the bar banging is about to begin. Or, or Crash Central here in Denver. Man, I am not a fan of this setup, but I, I thought it would be fun. It gets me on the Cowie 450. And yeah, like I said, I do want to try and hop on some different bikes to end off the championship, but I'll see what we get up to. Try and find a flow here in Denver, and I cannot shift. Okay, my controller is not on. The right settings, Denver baby. Let's see if I can get into a flow. No rain, but the track is looking a little wet, so we will have to worry about that. Hopefully the rain holds off and we've been blessed. Not a dry round, but another round with no rain. Which, hey, I'm a, I'm a okay with that. So, up and over the finish line, I know it is probably best to tuck tight inside when you land the finish line try and double triple triple into the corner but i'm not sure if i'm going to be able to do it here in the mud i guess it's not raining but it is kind of muddy try to triple to here and then i wonder if i'll be able to triple into the corner but it's gonna be tough here in denver the mud is definitely gonna come into play gonna have to hit clean consistent laps and try and find some lines that I can actually hit smoothly while we are dealing with that mud so it would be totally different if it was completely dry but I don't think I can complain because riding in the pouring rain is never fun and I haven't had to do it yet in the 450 career so we can make the finish line up pretty easily like I said before I think the inside through here is probably best but even if I click up to third, we're gonna bog. Second gear did not give me the drive to make that triple, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do in that section. I might be able to triple into this section. I'll have to try it on next lap. And then if I land that smoothly, well, pretty much perfectly, I can actually triple out of that section. I don't know how I just hit the ground there. My rider's doing funky things. RV not having the best day here in Denver so far. That's like, three three big mistakes and I think I've only done what three laps it's time to hit a decent lap I'm in 14th right now for qualifying but I know I can do better than that I wonder if I'm able to triple I'm not even gonna worry about it I think I'm just gonna settle for a double 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 through that section I don't think it's worth it to try and triple into this section if it was dry of course I'd be busting out that line but I don't know man I'm getting sketchy here in Denver and struggling to find that flow. Of course, those two rhythm sections right off the start there are kind of the hard part to the track. The rest of the track is pretty easy. Just some super cross triples, some whoops, and a big old straightaway back to that finish line. So I got some work to do and some time to make up. I gotta clean up that lap if I wanna be competitive right now because 
14, and I'm actually not sure if I'm gonna beat that lap time. I did drift really, really wide in that final corner, but one more attempt. That's all I'm gonna give it. If I can't get it done, it's not meant to be. Might be best. I'm giving up. Giving up right here, just like that. I don't know what just happened, but somehow, somehow I'm back at the beginning of qualifying. <laughs> I don't know what just went down. I'm gonna run a decent lap time, get into a qualifying position, and we'll hit that main event. Yeah, that was totally my fault. I totally exited to the main menu when I should have just ended the session. All right, qualifying in the bag. I actually managed to run a pretty decent lap time, jumping up to, well, 14th for qualifying. 50.585, wow, the lap times are close all the way down to pretty much 16th, even 22nd of 52. The whole field is within three seconds. That is wild. And if you guys are wondering why I have RV on the back of Villapoto's jersey, it's because Villapoto is one letter too long to actually fit. And I'm running the number one just due to the fact that Cooper Webb has number two and I can't run number two. So RV was number one for many, many years. And it's kind of funky because I'm number one, Anderson's number one. We're both number one. When that clock hits 940, I am going to go attack the track and see if I can make this comeback happen. Of course, a mud fest here in Denver. It's not raining, but it is definitely, definitely muddy. And I'm gonna see if that actually comes into play in any way, but just gonna flow, hit my lines, hit my marks and see what happens. If you guys do enjoy at any point in time, make sure to smash that thumbs up button for me throw any comments down below subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here the support has been unreal if you guys don't follow me on instagram go drop me a follow type in goonzig the account is at goonzig productions toss me a follow it would be greatly appreciated i asked man i asked to try and hit 1k you guys did it so i appreciate it the support has been unreal and i gained like a ton of followers just from shouting out the Insta a few times in these videos. Bunch of links in the description though. We got Discord, Twitter, Facebook, all that good stuff down there. The merch, man, I haven't mentioned the merch in so long, mainly because I have a lot of things in the works and I shouldn't say in the works, but I have a lot of ideas that I wanna make come to life. So it's just a matter of time and a matter of committing to making that happen, but I don't know, the world's in a scary, weird place right now, so I don't think, I don't think there's any rush. I don't think uh, I'd be wanting to like drop new merch or try and say like start a small company right now with everything that is going on, so we got nothing but time, nothing but time to make dreams come true, am I right? All right, lap one, is that lap one in the bag or is that lap two? I can't even remember. That's what happens, man. You start babbling, you start commentating away, and you don't even focus on the race. You're just riding, playing, talking. That's what I love about <laughs> recording, gaming, making these videos. Nothing but a good time, man. Nothing but a good time. And I'm a talker. I could talk all day long if you guys wanted me to. <laughs> Slowly but surely catching up. And I'm actually surprised that it hasn't taken too, too long to get semi close to the back of the field. So hopefully things are looking bright here in Denver. Well, actually not really other than the lights, but no sun, mud on the ground. It's a pretty crummy race day if you ask me. Little mistake there, can I salvage a line? I'm gonna double to here land double and then single into the corner i don't need to go very wide in that corner to get into this rhythm and the comeback is on if i can clean up these lines let's go it does look like ronnie stewart is going to be the first pass if i can keep him behind me here i think it is quicker to dive to this inside and just get on the gas hard make it up over the finish line, lock up the brakes, and that is probably the quickest way to get through there. I don't think it's worth it to try for that triple. Stewart definitely hit it. I can't bust it out, man. I cannot bust out that triple. Not in these conditions. 
If these guys can do it, so be it. I will let them hit the fast lines, but I cannot make anything happen. No fast lines, no big lines. I'm just kind of trying to cruise with consistent lines. And hopefully that's enough. Four and a half minutes on the clock. So I gotta get moving if I want to make a bunch of passes happen. But there's a huge group right here. Stewart, it took a whole lot, but I think he might finally be behind me for good. Politelli and Hill behind me. We got Bloss, A Ray, a bunch of riders to get past. So let's focus up. Make no mistakes, of course, if I go down, the five-second penalty will come into play, but I don't want to deal with that. I don't want to have to wait for five seconds. I just want a smooth race here in the Denver mud. Angtignap, we got Chisholm. Not going to make this triple, or barely. Oh, that was a stretch. Kind of flowing, kind of not flowing. I am not a fan of my RV setup. It gets a dislike from me for sure. Chisholm kind of in my way, but the man's gonna probably like bust out a triple or something. Look, he almost did. He cased it. Even if I preload as much as I can, get on the gas as hard as I can, I can't make that line happen. Anderson behind me and I'm up to 14. If I can get Tomac, that will be 13. Barsh is right here in another decent group. I think the man Marv just went down, so he's behind me. My ex-teammate started off this championship on the Red Bull KTM team, but that didn't last very long. AP, Barsha, getting AP behind me. Let's see if I can get Tomac behind me right here and maybe Barsha. Brayton and Freeze, a four for one in that corner. Let's go. And keeping them all behind me with a consistent line through there. And Reed is next on the agenda as I break in to that top 10. Top seven now. I thought Reed was about to land on my head. Stewart is behind me and I am flying through these guys right now. Making a ton of progress towards the front of the field. Savachi's next on the list. Let's go get him. So a minute left on the clock. It does look like we will have enough time to hopefully get this lap and two more, depending on how quick the leader, Cooper Webb, gets to that finish line. I don't think I'm gonna be able to catch up and get past him. He is pretty far ahead. Ooh, struggled through this rhythm this lap. It actually made that triple out pretty good. Flow through here, up and over the triple. I need to get by. Oh, getting sketchy through there, but I need to get by Savachi and get into that top five. Hopefully I can get up to Baggett. I believe it's Baggett up there in third, but I still have to get Savachi Osborne. And I got a little bit of work to do. And my progress have, has kind of just like stalled out right here not moving forward not falling backwards web staying about eight seconds out front and this looks to be where i'm gonna chill for at least a little bit until i can make something happen see if i can maybe get on the gas and triple on the inside of savachi here hold him off hopefully getting sketchy in the whoops Let's see if I can maybe get Osborne here too. That will be for fourth. I'm gonna lock up the brakes, go to this inside, get on the gas, and we are on to what is the last lap. Osborne almost took me out there. That was squirrely. I'm determined to get a podium. The win is not happening. Top five, I'm okay with that. But Baggett is right here. Four, P3. Why did I choke up through there? I don't know why I choked up in the middle of that rhythm. Cased just a little bit. I'm closing in on Baggett, and I'm closing in hot. It's gonna come down to like the last corner. Hopefully the whoop section. It is an advantage to me. Not able to gain enough time on him. Get on the gas early. Is he going to the inside? He's not. 
get past the baggage, and that, my friends, is a podium. Consistency is key, baby. It's gonna get me this championship. Third place, 21 points to my name. Bogle and Webb managing to beat me. Didn't manage to catch up to him. I did have the fastest lap of the night. And the AI were actually running slower laps than they were in qualifying. So that is that, man. Denver in the bag. 325 points to my name. Still only five wins. I do want to up that before the end of the career. We only got three rounds left, so we are running out of time. Look at me and Anderson running number one. I love it. That is it. That is all, and we can leave the terrible RV setup in the past. I will see you guys all in the next episode. Peace out.